So um, we can call this a part two to my video on Tyson Fury. Um, I'm expanding it a bit because there has been more developments. Um, as if getting a petition of now about 100,000 people to try and remove this man from the Sports Personality of the Year um, nominations. There has now been a report that a uh, uh, hate crime charge has been leveled against him and the police say they're taking it very seriously. This is, I have to be blunt with this, this is utterly fucking ridiculous. Um, sorry to be so crass, but that's how I feel. I mean, seriously, a hate crime. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's a few things I want to talk about. That's that's one of them, but I want to expand on it a little bit. I read a very good article today by Matthew Saeed in the Times. We can turn over the title now. Why would we vote for Conor McGregor? This is London Times. Um, he goes on to say that he uh, absolutely acknowledges that Fury views are bigoted, um, and you know he's he's not denying that. But he makes a very compelling case for this notion of um, a good sportsmanship, a good being, a good role model. That is, um, and I have to admit, it's somewhat made me rethink my views a little bit that is to say i'd always sort of went through that line of oh yeah this person has to be a good sportsman and so on and i'd always admired boxers and i still do um who came across as good guys like manny pacquiao like vladimir klitschko guys like that who were um respectful outside the ring they never got into trash talking this sort of thing um I i've always had respect for those sort of fighters and i still do but Matthew Said makes a good point. Is it really realistic to expect to kind of like model sports people to be kind of good role models? I mean, are parents really going to teach their children that, I'll try and quote this actually because he, he's worded it better than I am. Um, wouldn't it be marvelous and cleansing for parents? Up and down the nation have the following chat with their children. The very moment the big fella walks up to receive has covered an award from Gary Lineker. Why has Fury won the award when he looks down on women, mummy? Because he is a boxer, kids, not a saint. Ah, I see. Does that mean we should judge a person's views on merit, rather than how famous they are, or how well they kick a football, or how well they sing, or whether they can punch better than other people? Well, do. I think the point that Said is making is that um, when we have this sort of pedestal of... Uh, putting sports people on this platform where they have to be super clean is a bit unrealistic. Um, I'm not saying I totally agree with it. I do think if you're heavyweight champion of the world, you do need to carry yourself in a certain way. I do think that you need to at least be aware of the prominent position that you're in. Um, I don't think that Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury should be anyone other than himself. But some of the things he comes out with are questionable. Um, now, granted, some of these things have been dug up from previous interviews, um, he supposedly said, for example, if his sister was promiscuous, he would hang her. And statements like this, um, I don't think they do him any favours, quite clearly. I personally don't have much time for the guy. I don't like many of his opinions. I think he's crass, and I think he's a bit of an embarrassment, as, as a loudmouth, that is. But as a boxer, um, what Matthew Said is arguing is he's, He's a very skilled pugilist. He has just beaten one of the greats of all time. And he's going to vote for Fury for that reason. And as Saeed puts it, um, actually, Saeed also makes a good point about Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali had positions that were, I'm going to have to you know, check if this is entirely accurate. But this is in Matthew Saeed's opinion. What he said was, um, but does that mean I absolutely admire his political opinions referring to Fury? Absolutely not. He had even more primitive attitudes toward women than Fury. He was an arch hypocrite too. This is referring to Ali. Um, rather like his guru Elijah Muhammad, preaching mon monogamy or having a string of affairs, and he was also a homophobe and a racist. And at that point, Ali believed that whites were continually evil, having been bred and tested by malign scientists. That's why he even joined the Ku Klux Klan, even speaking at a rally of the white supremacist movement and opposing Martin Luther King's racial integration. 
Um, that, that certainly is news to me. I'll need to look that one up. Um, some will argue that we can forgive Ali his views because they reflected his era, a product of the time, so to speak. But this is quite wrong. The nation of Islam and the manipulative cult that suggests the young champion in the early 60s was a fringe movement. His views outraged mainstream America and indeed the leaders of the civil rights movements. Ali's opinions were for his time every bit as inflammatory and hateful as feelings are today. Well, I agree with that. And yet Ali is put in this marble-esque sort of platform as if he could do no wrong. So in many ways, Fury is not unlike Ali. I'm not talking about his boxing prowess. Um, clearly, Fury has a very long way to go before he's comparable to Muhammad Ali. He probably never will be. I mean, if he beats Klitschko, um, he's only 27. If he goes on to beat other greats, he may well be in the echelons of greatness. But you know, time will tell. At the moment, I'd rank him as very, very good. Um, but great, time will tell. Um, I do believe Fury is in the top five British heavyweights of all time now. I think we'll have to give him that. Um, after then, it's Lewis. I can only really think of Joe Bugner and Henry Cooper. Um, possibly Frank Bruno that would be in that sort of category. Don Cockell, Dick Richardson, possibly. But yeah, Fury has definitely made his mark. Um, but, you know, it's ridiculous to, to expect sports people to kind of be like role models in the same way as, I mean, what Saeed said is if he was a politician or a political thinker, a philosopher, uh, you'd run a mile from him with those sort of views. But he's not. He's not elected to public office. He is a boxer. This is a tough sport. It's always been a crass sport. I mean, going back to the 1790s, do we think that likes of James Fig and so on would be politely spoken. I don't think so. Boxing has always been a crude sport. Um, so I think Matthew Said makes very compelling cases. If I can find a link to his article, I'll include that. It's very interesting reading. And I must admit, it, it does make me rethink this notion that we should always expect sports people. I think what the argument he was making was that it's ridiculous to kind of talk about sports people as role models because they are formal sports people. And anyone that solely relies on the example of someone who's a race driver or a boxer or a rugby player, whatever, um, as a role model is has pretty limited thinking. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I see where he's coming from with that, and I think it's a very good article. Now, back to this point about the... Uh, this was on the cover of the Daily Mirror. I mean, according to the article, um, it says that uh, um, the police take it very seriously. Just get the exact page. Um, Greater Manchester Police received a Cape Town complaint about Fury's remarks from a member of the public yesterday. A spokesman said we are looking into it. If they decide the Manchester fighter may have committed a crime, they could quiz him. But the very fact that this is being investigated, that someone has made this complaint, demonstrates to me just how dangerous the situation has become regarding um, some legislation in this country, supposedly designed to protect people, but actually misused. I mean, I can understand if a gay person has been on a train and an individual or a gang has verbally lambasted them for 10 minutes. Yeah, that would definitely be a hate crime because it's intimidating, there's a threat factor there. But whatever loser made this complaint um, really needs to get a grip. I mean, I understand if you're a gay person, your issues would be extremely offensive. I get that. Maybe hurtful. But a hate crime? Seriously? A hate crime? I mean, that denotes, when I think hate crime, I think of like the 1970s and, um, you know, a gang of vicious homophobes beating up some helpless poor individual who can't defend themselves that's a hate crime attacking someone for their skin color physically is a hate crime but having an opinion a hate crime now obviously fury's not going to go to jail that's not going to happen but you know if he gets fined or if there's some sort of legal repercussions from this it would be an utter shameful disgrace and it will be a deep threat to our liberty and our democracy. Because if you believe in freedom of expression, that is for everyone, as Voltaire said, 
I disagree with what you're saying, but I'll defend death. You're right to say it. And I hope this pillock, Scott Cuthbertson, is proud of what he has done. Because all he is doing is, that's the guy who started this petition. All he's doing is showing his own deep intolerance by trying to get Tyson Fury off the BBC Sports Plus of the Year. Some people have said this supposedly denotes personality of which Fury has a very bad personality. But, you know, it's about sport. And as Matthew Saeed said, um, the criteria is actually up to the panel to decide. Now, I am pleased that the BBC hasn't caved into this because usually they would. You know, usually you'd expect the BBC to be ultra sensitive and politically correct. I'm not quite sure why they've taken this position. I'm surprised by it, but I'm also happy by it because it would be a disgrace if they cave into this. These 100,000 people need to get a grip. If you're gay, I totally get you being offended. I totally get that you would be hurt by his comments. But what right do you have to take away this man's achievement, sporting achievement I'm talking about? You know, there's plenty of people. Take, for example, I'll put an analogy here. I cannot stand Gordon Ramsay, the chef. I think he's an odious man. I think he's a vile bully. I think he's a prick, to be quite honest. That's my impression of a menowee. But can I say he's not a great chef? No, I can't say that. If Gordon Ramsay got some award for cooking, could I argue with that? No, because he is a very skilled chef. It's what he does. I think he's a horrible person. That's the impression I get from him. Um, you know, public figures are responsible for their own image, and that's the impression I get from Gordon Ramsay. So I wouldn't start a petition to say, oh, Gordon Ramsay shouldn't get this cooking award. Why? Because I know nothing about cooking. I'm not a chef. Just like I suspect the vast majority of those signing this petition don't have a clue about boxing. They probably didn't watch the fight, and they probably don't even follow the sport. You know, the, the point here is you can dislike someone's views and, you know, still acknowledge that they... I mean, to be fair, Fury himself isn't exactly helping matters by insulting the very people who may be giving him the award by saying he doesn't care and it's a lot of rubbish and this sort of thing. I do think Fury needs to not self-censor necessarily, but just be aware that he is now world heavyweight champion. Um, as I understand it, he was stripped of the IBF title because his mandatory was via Cheslav um, Blazkov, I think that's the guy's name. Um, but I mean, the, the the thing is, I'm not saying this as a Fury fan. I'm not a Fury fan. Um, and certainly some of, uh, certainly his track record on um, his, uh, you know, his opinions are not, not often to be, to admire. They're not, they're not brave. They're not revolutionary. They're just crass and stupid. But in a democracy, people should have the right to say what they want. And, there was no threat whatsoever in his statements. In fact, Fury himself called the Jeremy Vine show to try and backtrack a bit and say that he's being portrayed as this evil guy who hates gay people. And he said, you know, he was insisting that's unfair. And I think I'd agree with that. His his statements were certainly inflammatory, but that is not the same as saying he hates gay people. And he has not made any threats whatsoever. It's not like he has said, you know, um, oh, people should go out and beat up gay people because of their lifestyle and so on. You know, you think this is bad? Go to Uganda or Russia, especially Uganda. So I really think it's pathetic. And once again, in my opinion, it shows how certain aspects of the political left, and I do think this is predominantly the left, can be extremely intolerant and actually behaving like fascists themselves. I mean... LGBT pressure groups need to be aware that their public image is of very, very, very petty people who will throw a tantrum whenever they hear something they don't want to hear. I mean, why not just invite Fury to a debate on the issues? What would be wrong with that? But to try and silence him and to try and... Uh, I mean, arguably, people said he's encouraging gay bullying, homophobic bullying. Arguably they are kind of having this vindictive campaign against him, which I wouldn't necessarily use the word bullying, but there is an unpleasant undertone to it. Um, 
You know, this is a guy who just speaks his mind and he's not politically correct. And frankly, I don't lose sleep over that. Now, if Fury was to say something and uh, insult redheaded people, would I think he's a buffoon? Would I think he's crass? Yeah, I would. But I wouldn't start a bloody petition to try and... It's just... This really bothers me. It bothers me, not because I particularly care about Tyson Fury, but because it has implications for the rest of us. It means that anything can be interpreted as offensive. And laws that are that vague are dangerous. Because as I understand it from that report, um, a hate crime is anything that can be designated or interpreted as offensive. Seriously? I mean, that's news to me. I thought a hate crime had to constitute uh, a legitimate threat or a uh, credible and plausible case of harassment or physical intimidation. But to, to you know, to investigate hate crime because someone has had a, a politically incorrect opinion is utterly insane. And I think the government needs to review how this law can be abused. I personally believe the person who filed that complaint should be done for wasting police time. Because Fury has not made any threats against gay people. He hasn't. And I don't even see anything particularly hateful about his comments. Bigoted? Yeah, perhaps. Hateful? No. I don't see it. So I really think this is dangerous. And to anyone going to jump on the bandwagon and say, oh, you're a homophobe, blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I have a gay friend, uh, a very close gay friend. I'm not just saying that because it sounds nice. I do. And if he had an issue with this, I would debate with him. And I'd say, look, to my friend, I disagree with you. I think that Tyson Fury has a right to his view. I also think it's worth saying that these LGBT pressure groups don't represent every single gay person in the country. I'm sure there's gay people out there who do think this is being blown out of all proportion. Also, there's the fact that millions share Fury's views. Again, that's a basic fact. So we now have a situation where the views held by millions of people could be designated a hate crime. I mean, I think it's just dangerous. Um, Tyson Fury is a boxer. Now, with Donald Trump, there is also a petition to ban him from the UK. I think the implications are a bit different. Trump is a politician, at least he is now. He's a legislator, so his views actually do impact people. That's a fundamental difference. So I do understand the petition to stop Trump coming to the UK because he is a legislator. And uh, there is a difference in that. Um, but seriously, this guy, Scott Cuthbertson, sounds to me like someone who has an agenda. I doubt he's a boxing fan. I think he's someone who goes out of his way to find homophobia. And uh, a bit like feminists going out of the way to find so-called misogyny. Um, this is a real fascism, quite frankly. This deep, deep, deep intolerance of left-wing pressure groups. And I'm sick of it. That doesn't mean I support homophobia. It doesn't mean I like or agree with Fury's views. Like I say, they're crass, bigoted views. And, you know, it's a stupid thing to say. But I feel this man is being pilloried when he's barely just won the title and I think Fury is the sort of person who kind of it's almost like they're provoking him to try and get a reaction because they know he's crass they know he says these things it's fucking stupid